Hey guys, what is up? Mimble's back again today, and what I have for you guys today is 130 to 2, playing on Aftermath. Probably one of the worst maps ever in Call of Duty history. Um, but anyways, I don't know what happened with my aim there. I was just awful. I think I went cross-eyed or something. But uh, what this is, 130 to 2, using the vector, playing some ground war domination on Aftermath. And this is playing with one of my friends, and also... I managed to get, uh, I, th I don't know if I, no, I definitely don't get a nuclear, but I go on a pretty good gun streak, I think, um, but this gameplay, I get, like, three load stars, I cut them all out, because they, I don't know, they don't really do too much, or if they do too, too much, it kind of just is all, uh, like, nobody wants to watch a load star go around three of them, it's just the same thing, shooting missiles down at people, and them just helplessly running around like little ants, so basically what I did is I cut out the load stars, and, um, You'll see I pick up Mike's score streaks pretty fast here, and this is a pretty beast gameplay against some really bad kids, so don't complain, or don't say anything about reverse boosting or bad lobbies, I don't know, whatever people complain about now, but um, I know this is a bad lobby, and that's what, why I got this gameplay, because these kids were horrible, but right here I run out of ammo after running around with my knife, and I actually managed to stay alive and get, get my loadstar up here, so uh, yeah, I don't know, pretty beast gameplay, but I didn't really want to talk about it. Um, it's actually kind of weird uploading 100 plus. I haven't uploaded one for like a week now, and uh, I've been uploading a lot more nuclears, and that's what I do like to do a little bit more now. I kind of enjoy going for nuclears, and I, I don't know, I have a little bit more fun with that. So if you guys do want to see more nuclear gameplays, definitely let me know. And I'm definitely gonna be doing it anyways because I'm gonna, um, I've got my series going with the nuclear with every gun, which is going pretty good. I think it's gonna be a sweet series. And once I start going with some of the harder guns like snipers and shotguns and stuff, it'll be pretty cool. And uh, I don't know, you guys are giving me quite a bit of support on that series so that's always appreciated and uh, I don't know what this guy's doing right here running around with a small suicidal and just kills us both he, he knew he couldn't take me uh, with a real gun so he had to blow us both up I guess um, but anyways right here uh, it's almost half time I think and I had something to talk about what was it to talk about I completely forgot oh yeah yeah I was, I was playing MW3 last night or something and uh, I, I've been having so much fun with that game lately and I don't know it's just bringing back a lot of good memories from Modern Warfare 3 and it got me thinking about like the guns and stuff in Modern Warfare 3 like the ACR the MP7 in that game are such beasts and so fun and uh, I just really love using them and the Spaz 12 for sure I really do like using the Spaz 12 and that's what I'm gonna be going for is a Spaz 12 mob I think that'd be pretty sick to upload um, but anyways, I was, I was thinking, if they could bring back some guns from any Call of Duty, what what guns would you like to see? I know, in my personal opinion, I'd like to see like the ACR back, uh, or the Spaz-12, because the Spaz-12 from like Modern Warfare 2, or even Modern Warfare 3, is just such a beast, and it's so so fun to use. So those are some guns that I'd really like to see back. Leave a comment below of what uh, gun you'd like to see back, if they if they could do more gun DLCs, or like, you know, Treyarch or Infinity Ward would do more gun DLCs, I think that'd be pretty sick. And they did do it with the Peace Keeper. They brought a new gun in halfway through it, or like after introducing the game, they brought in a gun as a DLC item, which is pretty cool, and I really do like the idea of that. So I think it'd be pretty awesome if they could bring some more guns back. Obviously, Treyarch wouldn't bring any guns from like Infinity Ward games back, but maybe they would bring a gun from another Treyarch game, such as I don't know the Galil or the Famous or whatever, um, which would be pretty sick. But I don't, I don't think they'll do it in Black Ops 2. Maybe they will. I don't know, but. I, I don't know, I just kind of was thinking about that, so leave a comment below what gun you would like to see back in Black Ops 2 if they did another gun DLC. And uh, yeah, that's pretty much it I wanted to talk about today, I, I don't know, this gameplay is like 5 minutes long, so... Uh, I might just throw over some music for the last minute, I don't know, I have too much more to talk about, so if you guys did enjoy this gameplay, make sure to drop a like or anything, let's shoot for... I don't know, 45, 50 likes on this beast to 130 to 2 gameplay, and uh, that'd be greatly appreciated, and um... I'll probably be uploading a nuclear tomorrow, uh, probably another SMG nuclear, probably with like the Chickum or something, I go on a pretty good streak with that, and yeah, anyways guys, so if you guys did enjoy, make sure to drop a like rating, and as always, subscribe if you're not already, and I'm out, peace. Yeah, I'm back up in this bitch just like a uterus And I don't need no lubricated condom when I'm doing this Always gotta do be lit Swerve behind the wheel and maneuver it 2020 with it, use my eyes to see the future with it Moving shit, I'm just trying to be what I'm supposed to be Supposedly I'm dope, St. Nicholas ain't as cold as me The thing we got in common is I'm always with a hoe with three Make him drop it like someone with Parkinson's carrying groceries